Hey everybody, welcome back. Well, not welcome back. Just used to saying that. Um, welcome to uh, um, our first uh, Let's Play of all the Super Mario um, well, platform games. I'm Zeb, if you don't know me, but um, see, this is kind of weird. Um, this is the first game I'm going to be playing through. Let's just wait for it. It's obviously All Stars. I'll explain a little things uh, before we start. Let me just turn the lights off so there's no glare. Uh, there we go. I'm going to turn the volume up. Okay, see my All-Stars. Some characters I got there. Um, currently, me and my partner Ruben, who is not going to be in this LP, are playing through Super Mario Bros. 2. But I am going to be doing the first game, Super Mario Bros. 1. Let's see, there's a lot of files on here. Um, and yeah. Okay, so you can get the option to do one or two player game in this. And yeah, okay. Before we start, I just want to just say the control. Wow. Okay, I haven't got used to the controls of this game, so. Okay, you get start off with five lives. Um. Oh my god. Okay, the controls in this are very different from Super Mario Bros. 2. The controls in this game are better, but I just gotta get used to them. Okay, so, uh, we're pulling the Wii Remote to the side, like this. Uh, one is to dash and shoot Fire Flower if you have it. Um, two is to jump, and obviously move with the D-pad. Um, yeah, so that's basically most of it. Um, yeah, also, um, what's really weird, oh, these are Goombas, by the way, if you didn't know. Um, all these enemies right here. This is Fireball, this is Fire Mario. Okay, so, um, what's weird is that I'm doing this right now while we're doing our Let's Play of Super Mario Bros. 2, because, um, I originally, we had the recording for this from a while ago, but it got scrapped. Um, I don't know why. Um, this has eight worlds. There's eight, eight worlds. There's four levels in every world. But, um, up to world five got scrapped, so, uh, here I am, just redoing this now. You see, what's going to be weird is, after I get to World 5, World 1 through 4 I'm going to do now, once I get to World 5 and I go to my old recordings, there's some stuff that um, I did not really want to mention using this new channel. Because some of you might know me from my last channel. But, um, yeah, so there's some things I want to mention. So once we get to World 4, or by the way, just beat the level. Nice six fireworks. And once I get to World 5, I'm going to just play audio over all the levels, and, um, yeah, it might get a little, um, boring at first, but, um, I'll try to mix up the songs and stuff, and I'll get more into that as, uh, we come up. I'm gonna try to do world, uh, I'm gonna try to do a world in every part, just so I can, you know, really limit the parts here, because I really do not want to, uh, do that much. You can slide, too. That's something you can do in this game. Um, in this game, honestly, it's very different to Mar well, very different from Super Mario Bros. 2. In these cave levels, you can warp. Okay, if you see the books at the top, oh, these are Piranha Plants, by the way, and those blue Goombas are cave Goombas. They don't really have a classified name, but most people, well, damn it. And if you lose your Fire Flower, wow. If you lose your Fire Flower, then you lose all your lives, too. Then you lose, like, Big Mario, too. But, um, yeah. Um, shoot. Wow, that was close. Okay, um, I, I even forget what I was saying. So, if you get, oh, yeah, if you get on the top of those bricks there, like what you can do here, you can, uh, um, cheat your way. You just keep running on the top there. You can cheat your way into a different world. You can do that with every cave level, and, um, I'm not gonna do that, but, uh, yeah, and when you get back there, it's just a little room with a pipe, and it'll count down, warp to world, whatever, three, two, one, go, and you'll start level one, you know, at that world. Okay, um, level three usually is this kind of layout, um, with these 
platforms that you have to go over. Um, there's really not much to it. I'm just still trying to get used to the controls here. I haven't played this game in a hell long time. Which is the summer, but still, I'm so used to the Super Mario Bros. 2 controls. I'm just kind of getting back to this. Because you go, in Super Mario Bros. 2, when you jump, you go way further. And it's hard to, like, plot where you're going to land. So, yeah. Press two too late. That's one of me and Ruben's phrases. Uh, my real name, nickname, just for this uh, for this uh, season, is uh, Zebulon, due to uh, a play that I was in. I played uh, Zebulon. If you haven't, know, if you don't know what it is, it's called Joseph and the Amazing Technical Dreamcoat. Pretty good play. Um, I miss the fire flower. Wow. I just should go face bags before I die. Okay, one live. Let's do this. Okay, this level isn't that hard. The castles tend to have the same layout. Um, it's usually just this room. And then, while you're going through the level, he fires fireballs at you. Really not that hard. Then you just hop on this axe, hurt yourself, and he falls in the lava and dies. I'm sorry if the quality's bad, you guys, but I'm using my old camera. I should probably shoot that. Thank you, Mara, but a princess in another castle. Okay. I went to a different channel by accident. Okay, yeah. So now this is world two. Damn cars. Okay, so, um... I think we're going to end things off here, guys. Short little part here, but I want to just get one world in for video, and plus I want to die to get five lives back. So I uh, hope you're enjoying this LP. I'll cover uh, some more things, and you'll hear enough of my commentary before I start the music. So yeah, see you.